everyone so today I'm gonna to be doing my Valentine's Day inspired tutorial and I kind of named this one like chocolate covered strawberries sort of to set the mood for Valentine's Day but it's just a really simple kind of pink and brown um, this could definitely be worn during the daytime or you can um, maybe amp it up a little bit more for your night look um, so like I said it's just pink and brown and all the products I'm using today are very affordable you can find them at drugstores and also online at coastalscents.com I'm gonna be using my 88 shimmer palette by Coastal Scents so if you have that dust it off and get it out and um, keep watching for the tutorial the first step to starting this look is applying your eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance today and I'm just going to take a little tiny dab of this on my lid and then I'm going to just smudge that around with my finger all the way up to my um, eyebrow and then just blend it all along the lid. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is take my Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk by NYX and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And then also just a tiny bit in the tear duct. And then what I'm going to do is just take my finger and kind of blend that in. Smooth it out and just smudge it around evenly on your lid stopping at the crease because these um, jumbo eyeshadow pencils do crease but it won't because we applied that eyeshadow insurance and also keeping it out of the crease will help a lot as well okay so now we have that blended on our lid and that's just really gonna help make the color pop and become a lot more pigmented as well so now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into my Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette. I haven't used that in a while and I thought this would be a good time to use that. So um, I'm going to go into the color um, I1, which I'm going to try and hold it up for you guys and show you. It's this color right here. It's kind of like a highlight um, pink shimmery color, very light color. And I'm going to just pick that up with my flat shader brush and then blend this around the tear duct. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so I'm just blending that on the tear duct and then also below. And because we have that Jumbo eyeshadow pencil, it's going to um, help it pop even more. And it's really going to have something to cling on, on to as well. And then I'm just blending it about halfway into my lower lash line. Just like that. And then we can go in and touch it up again at the end. I like to do that just so it pops a little bit more. And I'm going to take it about a third in the way of the way in my lid. Okay. And then I'm going to clean my brush off and go into G2, which is more of a um, kind of bubblegum pink color this one right here and I'm going to take that with my flat shader brush as well tap off the excess and then I'm going to go pat this right along my lid to um, half to the outer third of the lid so on the outer half god I'm having a hard time talking sorry <laughs> I'm just patting that making sure that there's no fallout that way So now we just have this really soft gradient of light pink to a, a little bit of more of a true bubblegum pink. And so um, then what I'm going to do is take a small round crease brush like this one here and I'm going to go into J5 which is more of a kind of reddish brown color, that one here. And I'm just going to use this to kind of just start off our outer corner. So just creating that outer corner. Again, as you can tell, it's a little bit more of a reddish toned brown. OK, 
Okay, and once we've placed that color there, I'm going to then take, um, oops, I just want to zoom out a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take a um, fluffy crease brush and just kind of blend that color out a little bit more. Darn it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that color. Okay, now I'm going to go into K6, which is a darker brown, and it's right there. And I'm just going to pick that up with a um, my e.l.f. crease brush. It's kind of like a small, round crease brush. And this is, oh, darn it. I bumped my leg, and I think I got most of it off. Okay, this is a darker brown, so I'm taking this with my crease brush, and this is going to really darken it up and add more of that true brown color instead of that reddish tone. And you're just going to blend that crease like that. And it's just going to then, from that point, blend it so it becomes just um, no harsh lines. It's just really nicely blended together. And you can go as intense as you'd like with it. You can round the edges a little bit more, whatever your preference is. So then I'm going to take a smaller round crease brush again, and I'm going to go back into that color, and I'm going to just then smudge this in the very outer corner, and then smudge it in my lower lash line. Meeting, stopping right where we left off with the highlight. So basically taking on the outer half and then it all kind of meets together. So it really nicely blends together like that. Then I'm just going to take my Essence of Beauty um, Eyeliner Duo with black and dark brown. I'm going to use the dark brown and I'm going to just line this in my waterline on the outer half. So basically where that dark brown is um, on the lower lash line and then I'm going to take it up on the top and just line about the same amount on the upper lash line. So it's just on the outer edge of the lash line. Just so it stays bright and um, light colored on the inner corner too. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. I'm also gonna apply my mascara and I'm gonna be using my Grow Luscious Mascara by Revlon. I've been loving this lately. So I'll be back to show you the blush and lipstick and how to complete the look. Okay, and I completely forgot to tell you guys about the highlight color, which is really easy, but just so you know, um, I used um, A1, which is the very top corner, the um, frosty white color. I just slightly blended that underneath my eyebrows. So this is the completed look for this um, kind of like chocolate, strawberry, flirty, kind of pink and brown inspired Valentine's Day look. And I think it's really cute and fun and just really simple. Of course, you can wear something like this any time of the year. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, but it is inspired by this time of year. So for the blush and for the lips, um, what I did, well, actually, I only did one side. See, it's like a really nice sheer wash of pink. Um, first, I applied my NYC um, Blushable Cream Stick, and this is in the Plaza Pink color. And I'm just going to smile and kind of dab that on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm just going to take my finger and, and very very lightly rub it in you don't want to take off everything underneath it that you already have placed on there foundation and such so I'm just patting that around with my finger and then I'm going to take um, my Maybelline precious pink blush it's kind of like falling apart but that's what it looks like it's a satiny um, finish so there's no shimmer to it. I'm just going to pick that up with my e.l.f. blush brush and then smile and very lightly brush that over. And because of that um, cream stick for the blush, it's just going to make the color a lot more pigmented. So you really don't need to pick up a whole lot of color with your blush. Okay, and then just for a really nice highlight and glow, I like to top it off with my MAC Silver Aura Mineralized Sheer Sheen Loose Powder. This is limited edition, but you can take any highlight powder, or if you don't have that, you can even use um, the highlight color eyeshadow that we used. Dab that on your finger and then brush it on the tops of your cheeks, and that can be your highlight. Easy as that. 
So just smile and then place it right above it. And it's just a really, really nice subtle glow. All right, so for the lips, again, with just a really subtle pink color. And again, drugstore products. I used my Maybelline Color Sensation Lipstick in um, Pink Please. I really like the um, formula of this. It's very smooth and creamy. And then just to top it off and give it a little bit more of a glossy color, I used my Revlon in lilac pastel so it's a lilac color and it does add a little bit of a purple hue to it or lilac hue I should say but it just also kind of makes it more glossy toned and girly and a little bit more milky colored also so that is my Valentine's Day inspired tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it have a wonderful Valentine's Day even if you don't have a Valentine and doesn't mean it necessarily has to be a boy um, or your girlfriend, um, but you know you can always go out with your best friend and have a still have a fun and enjoyable Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.